Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first race of the evening, and it's taking place on Frozen from Season 8. Sakuragi has the record of 2 minutes and 36.3 seconds. Let's see what our players have in store for us here tonight. Looks like all the players are coming down into this Vortex over with pretty good lines. Who's going to get the best bounce? It looks like Tim Reaper got a very good start there, but the Glorious Message says are trying to dip down with a lower momentum. It looks like Chesapeake is going to come out in first place with the Glorious Message not too far behind in second place. For a while, it's Tim Reaper. Time for third as they come down in the center and Dracula is going way out in fifth place. Don't know what's going on with them, but maybe they've got some timing trick up their sleeve and they could come up from behind at the end. Chesapeake already up into the fifth pass, going across those moguls beautifully, not losing any speed. Glorious Message with a high bounce, also not losing any speed as it goes through. In second place, Tim Reaper and Furwell is battling it out. I think the moguls will decide which one of those two is going to succeed. Which STV lose a little bit of ground on that second mogul and the Glorious Message closing the gap in second place. Tim Reaper and Furwall still battling for third. Jack the Musical still way back in fifth place. Two moguls behind the other players. Chesapeake gets across that third mogul, holding first place for now, staying ahead of the Glorious Message. Only one more mogul to survive. Do they have a good line or will they get stopped up? They're going through on the right hand side. Looks like they have a lot of speed. The Glorious Message not able to keep up. And Chesapeake holding first as they hit the boosters into the level one speed washer. Will they have good timing as they go through? It looks like they have very good timing. Oh, they're stopping in the middle. Glorious Message tries to go through. They're also stopped up. The other players having trouble. There you see the beautiful performance by Wolf of Wall Street, but the record is by Sakuragi, 2 minutes and 36 seconds. Here comes Tim Reaper, straight through the level 1 Speedwasher, overtaking the other players, and there is your number 38 leader on the leaderboard, showing them how it's done here on the first race of the evening. Smashing right into the first force cube, though. That's going to cost them if they can't get out. Gotta be careful of those ramming pits. Oh my goodness, that's got a huge upset. And Dracula Musical coming from behind! I told you, it had some timing trick up their sleeve, and there they go! That's why they're on the leaderboards now. Number 77, Dracula Musical coming from behind in first place excellently timed he couldn't have planned it better shits tv two seconds behind in second place tim reaper two seconds behind in third place fur waltz half a second behind in fourth place and the glorious rush has up the rear three seconds behind and i told you he had a trick up his sleeve right hand track let's go back to our first place position which is clad trying to get through into past all these pins and they've done very well so far up in the elevator and they might be able to get into this dishwasher ahead of all the other players Looks like Madden trying to catch up on the right-hand track into that same dishwasher. And then we have Lord Breed, Dracula Musical, Fushipate all going for first place on the left-hand track if they can get a good boost out of that popcorn popper. Claw is going to hit that dishwasher first, but Madden with a lot of speed on the top track looking to have better timing. And they go straight through, leaving Claw in the dust. And Madden now in first place on the bottom track with Claw stuck in that dishwasher. Lord Breed on the top track with a very good line out of that popcorn popper into the cheese obliterator. Both players topped up, and there goes Madden blasting up with the cheese obliterator. But they've got a pretty good line. Can they stick a landing further down on the course? We're going to find out. No, too far to the right-hand side. Quadido also eliminated, I don't know how, probably by the popcorn popper or some other effect. Lord Marie trying to get across the jump, and they stuck the landing. As is Fisher Punta, so Fisher Punta and Lord Marie battling it out for first place as they go up into this Newton's Lane Mare. Now the other players coming up from behind, Dracula Musical third, sixth landing on the double boosted jump. All the other players way back now, Clyde fourth place, and it looks like um, Furball's back in fifth place. Fish Ponte coming through. Claw falls out of the map. Furballs also falls out of the map. Fish Ponte go through. Hits the reset booster back into the Newton Nightmare. Here comes Lord Marie, the comeback queen. Lord Marie falling out of the map off of that reset booster. And Lord Marie has got a chance to do her comeback queen performance yet again. But here comes Jack the Musical from behind. Lord Marie trying to get through. Will she get through? No, she's stopped up by the ramming pits. But Jack the Musical never to see it. And Lord Marie hits the reset booster back to the top. And the comeback queen has faltered. Jack the Musical coming through. Oh no, Jack the Musical blasted out by the ramming pits. And Lord Marie still has a chance. Shizumi and Jose the Great coming through the Newton Nightmare trying to hold first place, but here comes Laura Marie, the comeback queen once again. Shesame and Jose the Gang trying to get past these pistons. Well, they have a good line. No, they're both stopped up immediately. And here comes Laura Marie, weaving around the right-hand side, trying to find the exit. She goes across all the pistons, but can't find her way through. And here comes Shesame. Might actually be able to do it. Hits the first set of pistons. Trying to get through the second one. Hits the second one, but I think Shesame has done it. And Shesame finally across the line in first place. Those are the great Lord Marie tied up for second place as they try to get through. I swear those two are in cahoots waiting for these pistons to move, but they're going to hit those reset boosters again if they're not careful. Call it get right in fourth place. Lord Marie coming down the center. She's going to finish out the race. Those the great also coming down the center, finishing out in third place. Call it get right looking to finish in fourth place. If they get past these ramming pins, looks like they're going to be able to do it. Finishing across in fourth place. There comes Golden Smash Edge finishing across in fifth place, and that is the race, ladies and gentlemen. All up in this dishwasher. Glory Sessions is going to be the first one out. And they're going to go through. Again, ignore what it says up there. That is not the record. The record is Mega Golden Lucario. A minute and... Or two minutes and 47 seconds. Looks like Glo Glo uh, Glorious Wessage the only one through the dishwasher. The only players having a lot of trouble. Blood of the Wolf, Lady Atara, and Tim Reaper all through at the same time in second, third, and fourth place, respectively. Here goes Furwalls, Dracula, Musical, Fenera, Raspberry, and Curly.com. She to be all trying to get through. It looks like Curly.com getting completely destroyed by the Virgin Curse. Still stuck up in that dishwasher. Glorious Wessage already through the helixes, crossed the pistons, and into the industrial particular. Can they go for a patented skip here, or will they take it safe? They're going to take it safe. Slow and steady for the Glorious Wessage at this point with that huge early lead that they have on this track. Blood and the Wolf and Lady Atari coming through into the Industrial Particular in second, third place. Tim Reaper looking to be in fourth place. Dracula Musical trying to be in fifth, but Federer Raspberry seems to be on the right-hand side are going to give them a run for their money. 
All right, so it's already up into the colander now, trying to get through into the dishwasher, but they're having a little bit of trouble on those pins. Blubble and the Wolf also trying to get through, but also a little slow on those pins. In second place, Dragon the Mystical already through the funnel in third. Lady Atara coming up in the funnel in fourth place. Tim Reaper just getting in the funnel in fifth place, and the Glorious Mushers can't get out of this dishwasher, and here comes Blubble and the Wolf into the colander. Can they overtake the Glorious Mushers on this pass? Glorious Mushers misses the exit again, and the Blood Wolf Wolf on the left-hand side, which is the side you want to be on for this dishwasher, but either they're going to miss the exit, and now the other players are coming up in this colander. Dragon the Mystical, Tim Reaper, and Lady Atara all dropping down into the dishwasher. Who's going to get the better timing. Who's going to have the more momentum and who's going to come out in first place for the second half of this course? It looks like it's going to be Blood Moon Wolf and Lady Atar and the Glorious Fishers all at the same time. The Glorious Fishers retaking first place but losing a lot of time there as they come up into the merch Triple Helix. Lady Atara in second. Blood Moon Wolf trying to get through but Timmy Reaper and Jack Lewis are going to get ahead. Chance to be Furwells dropping in and Federer Asbury with a perfect line in. Federer Asbury right back into the competition with an excellent line through that dishwasher. So it's going to be Glorious Fishers in first. Lady Atara in second. I think Tim Reaper in third. Federer Asbury in fourth. Furwells in fifth. Chance to be in sixth. Then we have Jack the Musical, Blood Moon the Wolf, and CurlyD.com completely decimated by the Virgin Curse so far. Not able to get through these dishwashers without any success. Glorious Wizards coming through on this long and winding track filled with those pistons getting stopped up on the last piston of the first stretch. Lady Atar with a chance to catch up in second place, but they're having trouble with that piston all on their own. Glorious Wizards out into the second half of the stretch. Looks like Lady Atar is going to be getting there in second place, but here comes Tim Reaver, Federer Asbury, and Furwalls with a lot of speed. Look at the speed by Furwalls overtaking the other players right into third place and putting that pressure on Lady Atar as they go up into the jump. Glorious Wizards down the slide looking to get into the jump. Do they have the line? Looks like they're going through the left hand side. Can they stick the landing? The Glorious Wizards a little bit too much speed, passing off the edge of the mid, and the Glorious Wizards. An otherwise perfect run completely tragically ended with a horrible landing on that jump. And Lady Atara with a perfect landing on the wind bin has got to come out in first place. Furwall's sixth to landing in the bin. They're going to be in second. Tim Reaper coming through on the wind bin. They're going to be in third. Says to be in Federer Raspberry completely overshooting on the right hand side of the jump are eliminated. So Tim Reaper does finish out in third place. Here comes Dracula Musical. Can they stick the landing? They're high on the right hand side, but they get a good bounce and they're going to be down in the collection bin in fourth place. CurlyD.com trying to take on the Virgin Curse all the way back in fifth. With Blood Will and the Wolf not too far behind. Here comes CurlyD.com with a bounce off of the jump. It's taking the land on the right hand side, but they overshoot it, and the Virgin Curse destroying them from start to finish. CurlyD.com had no chance. And Blood Will and the Wolf also missing the jump, and that is going to be the end of the race, ladies and gentlemen. Places they all hit the divide, and now they're coming up into the mystery tunnel. Glorious Lush is going straight across, no fear whatsoever on the fast track. Rushapane having a lot of trouble. They're going to get dumped down into the. Oh no, they bounce off of the map and they've been eliminated. Shins to be in Lady Atara making it across. The Curly Dude also makes it across with a lot more speed, but the Glorious Fishers is out in first place on the fast track in the top lane. I don't think anyone's dropped down in the top bottom track yet. And the Glorious Fishers gets detected by the radar scanner. They've been wiped out. Chesapeake and CurlyD.com are going straight down in the center. Lady Atara also going through with a very good line. So it's going to be Chesapeake first, CurlyD.com in second. Lady Atara in third place. And here comes Dracula Musical. Fenair Raspberry on the lower tracks trying to catch up from behind. They're coming down with a lot of speed. And Fenair Raspberry overtaking Dracula Musical into this winding track. Who is going to come out across these huge graders first? Is it going to be Chesapeake, CurlyD.com, or Lady Atara? Looks like CurlyD.com overtaking Chesapeake on those winding tracks. They're going to come down in the cheese grader and hold first place to now. But Chesapeake's looking to give them a little bit of trouble around these lines. Now they're all coming up into the cheese and graders. Dracula Musical, Fenair Raspberry on the left hand side. Curly Lady.com, Chesapeake and Lady Tower on the right hand side. I'll try to get through. Oh my goodness, Chesapeake and Curly D already crossed the cheese center, but they missed the landing. And here comes Lady Tower with a lot of speed with a perfect drop down on the level of Speed Watcher. Lady Tower through the hole in the wrong direction on the dispatcher. She's going for it. Lady Tower going across the cheese grater and a perfect execution on the final stretch of the course. And Lady Tara coming out of nowhere from third to first right at the end into that win. Tim Reaper back to defend his title on this course. Number 34 on the leaderboard. Fair Raspberry, number 16. Dracula Musical, number 68. And this is going to be all in for the final race of the stream tonight. Tim Raper and Chesapeake coming out very early on in that first group. Glorious Fishers looking to be in the second group. Fedair Raspberry in that first group as well. Look, we have Lady Atara, Fushipande, and Dragon Musical in the second group. So Chesapeake, Tim Reaper, and Fedair Raspberry already getting to the center. Fedair Raspberry has a very good line so far. Here comes the Glorious Fishers, Fushipande, Lady Atara, and Fedair Raspberry trying to get in the second mix. And now all players are colliding as they go to the center. Fushipande and Tim Reaper having it out. No, that's the Tim Reaper ghost ball. Never mind. Chesapeake and Tim Reaper having it out. It looks like Fushipande holding their own line. Dragon Musical trying to dip in. Fredair Raspberry with a very round orbit, but very close to the point of no return. Dracula Musical trying to get around. Glorious Fishers also trying to get through, but I think it's going to be Tim Reaper or Fredair Raspberry. It is going to be Fredair Raspberry as they go through number 16 on the leaderboard. Show Tim Reaper what's what. And Fredair Raspberry might be going for the upset here on Tom Twisting Double. Fredair Raspberry on the left hand side in first place, trying to get to that circus cannon as quickly as possible. Tim Reaper defined, defined, uh, trying to defend their title on the right hand side in second place. 
Right behind them is Drag the Musical, number 68 on the leaderboard, and the three leaders are showing what's what on this final race of the evening. They're all going to be in. The Circus Kid is now trying to get that center shot into the center. Rotating for it. Fredair Esprit lands it perfectly. Tim Reaper also lands it, but not as well. Chesapeake also tries to get through ahead of Tim Reaper, but Fredair Esprit stuck up in the Chief Disintegrator, and Tim Reaper also getting stopped up there, and this is going to come down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. Fredair Esprit through on the left-hand side, going through into the third. There's the patented skip from Tim Reaper, and it looks like Tim Reaper went for it again, but he missed the extra-large vortex orbiter. Will he stick the landing further down on the course? Yes, he does. He stuck the landing right ahead of the elevator. Tim Reaper going for yet another skip, and Tim Reaper showing him how it's done on this course if they could just get out of the elevator. Fredair Raspberry on the left-hand side in the elevator. Tim Reaper on the right-hand side, and Tim Reaper sticks the landing out of the elevator, and Tim Reaper once again with another skip reclaims dominance on this course, and what a way to finish the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Tim Reaper, first place finish here on Twisting Double. Uh, Fruition Pate in second. Fredair Raspberry completely decimated. Gonna have to sell for third. Dracula Musical, Glorious Mustache, and Lady Atara having a little bit of trouble in these elevators, but I think Lady Atara and Glorious Mustache might find the exit. No, they miss it again. Dracula Musical on the right-hand side, trying to save face as one of the leaders on the leaderboard. Does stick the landing, but so does Lady Atara and the Glorious Mustache, and it's going to be very close, but I think Lady Atara is going to come across in fourth place. Glorious Mustache in fifth, and Dracula Musical in sixth, unless Dracula Musical can make something happen. No, Glorious Mustache does finish in fifth. Dracula Musical says, Shen V, no contest, and what a way to finish the race, ladies and gentlemen. What a way to finish the stream. Tim Reaper once again showing them what they're made of. Doing a patented skip off of that cheese disintegrator into first place and finishing out the race. One minute and 45 seconds.